Hi guys. I wanted to go ahead and introduce everyone to Millie's first litter. This is Millie and Baxter's litter who are almost seven weeks old or will be this weekend. Um, forgive their little bows that are, I've tied or ribbon I've tied literally around each or almost everyone's neck. Um, our families that will be choosing these guys will be making their picks over the next few days. So I like to do this for them prior to that way they can, you know, kind of see who's who a little bit beyond pictures. And then, you know, once they've narrowed it down a little bit, then we'll video chat to help them make their final, you know, choice. But anyhow, like I said, this is Millie and Baxter's litter, Millie's first babies, and we couldn't be any prouder. Um, I never dreamt she would have five gorgeous tuxedos, and she does. And not to mention her parties are God, just as beautiful. Their markings are just gorgeous. Um, we have several with just these little, you know, little circles around their eyes. Or if you can look right here, this is our little orange collar female. And speaking of, look at her little ears, for example. Can you see how it goes from red and white? They just have some of, I don't know, the neatest, coolest markings I've seen. I guess that's one reason I do. I love parties because to me, each one is unique in the way their markings come out. No two are ever exactly the same. And so that's one reason I, you know... I do love them. I love unique. I love, you know, having some different guys. And I love all the different patterns that Doodles come in, of course. And then tuxedos has always been one of my favorites. Um, I have waited a very long time to produce these guys. Um, patiently waited. And it was, you know, when our first one was born, which was our little guy over there who we named Jack. You will notice that Jack has, let me try to get a closer up of Jack. Can you see the little end of his tail? It looks like a little bee stinger, if you ask me. But my husband said, um, his tail is jacked up, don't laugh. And so, therefore, he got the name Jack, or, you know, adopt, we ad he adopted the name Jack. Um, it's nothing. It was just, this is a very large litter. Millie is not a huge, you know, girl. Millie weighs, oh, about 45, maybe 46 pounds or so. And for 11 puppies, it's just something that likely happened, you know, during development. It's not a broken tail or anything, you know, that nature. Our vet gave us the choice to dock it, but there was just no way I could because, number one, just look at him. He is perfect. And to me, I love the tail. Um, can you see how it, it, it just, the little point, and we cut off his little white tip. So I couldn't do that, and to me, it's just perfect. And, of course... His hair, or all these guys, you know, their hair will continue to grow and grow. And um, I couldn't see docking his tail. And to me, he is he's perfect. So, speaking of, there's our little green guy, Jack, who is chewing on his sister, Orange. Jackie, Jackie, no, 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 no. You can't do that. Say hi. Say hi, everybody. Can you say hi? There's a, oh, I'm sorry, didn't mean for you. It's not, I'm so sorry guys, I'm not the best at taking videos, but everyone wants to tell you hi. That's our little tan male right there who's chewing on the blue fish. Say hi, buddy. Can you say hi? Can you say hi? And who's walking up beside him, that's our red male right there who just decided to walk away. Today is their first day that they've gotten, that we've pulled the ball pit out, which we do for all of our puppies and they love, but sometimes it gets quite messy. So I said, you know what, let me try taking a video on the first day before they, you know, we want, we always rotate different activities, toys, etc. You always want to stimulate your litters and your puppies. But um, I figured, you know what, let me try in the very first day to where it's still new to them and yet, you know... Hopefully it won't be too much. We won't have balls everywhere and we can see who's who. So anyhow, that's why we decided to do it now. They've been here for a little while, so some of them are already starting to poop out. But I don't like them overly active. But, you know, I want you to be able to see who's who, obviously. And there's our little pink girl who's decided to take a snooze right there. Huh. Can you wake up for us, Pinky? And this is Violet who I didn't, couldn't find a violet piece of ribbon, so she got some puppy paws. 
Um, so not, it's not to confuse anyone, Violet's one of our little females. Huh, one of our little girls. Say hi, Violet. You guys like Orange's uh, little ribbon. Mama needs to figure out a better solution for this, but I guess a lot of times we have some litters that have, you know, so many different colors or patterns, you obviously can pretty easily tell who's who. But with this guy, Anyhow, sorry, I got a phone call in the middle of that. But um, but with this litter, it's, you know, you have six parties that look very similar. And, of course, the tuxedos look similar. So I had to do something so that way, you know, at least you could kind of know uh, at least who most of them were from looking from a distance. Say hi, Jack. There's our Jack. And there's Red again. Say hi, Red. What you doing, man? Oh, and there's our blue boy. Mm -hmm. Blue right here is our biggest of the litter, or one of the biggest. It's actually, we have him, and then Aqua Female is another big one. And none of these are going to be exceptionally large. Um, these are not our, <laughs> these are not baby mooses. For those of you who are familiar with our big boy moose, no, these are guys are going to be smaller. Um, we're, est you know, my best estimate or guesstimate is 45 to 55 pounds is probably where the, a lot of them are going to end up. I think we're going to have a few, probably speaking of, like aqua, um, blue, possibly black, that may get a little bit closer to 60. And I just see that black just lost his little ribbon. That's who that was. That just fell off. And there he is right here. This is our black boy right there that's walking into the little tunnel. Huh. Can you say hi? Say hi. And of course, y'all are going to eat that. Mommy's going to have to go in there and get it. And try to put it back on. And let's see who is telling us hi right here. Huh. Who is that? Huh? Say hi. Say hi. There's our aqua girl right there. Speaking of, there's our big girl. Um, she's one of our bigger females. We had two tuxedos, aqua and yellow, which is right next to her. Just tried to walk by. There's our other little tuxedo girl. Ma, huh. say hi. Oh, hello, my babies. And while they are just as gorgeous and stunning as can be, I cannot get over their temperaments. Um, we've noticed it early on. When we started ENS, we just noticed how calm these guys were. And, you know, you start that at three days old. So, usually can't tell a whole lot, but there are differences that you see from litter to litter, obviously. And for us, we were just blown away by how calm and relaxed these guys are, showing no signs of anxiety. Um, they have been a breeze to train. They have really been a pleasure to raise thus far. And, you know, I'm gonna really miss these guys when they're gone. Um, but for 11 families, you're certainly getting one of our best, no doubt. Um, let's see. Who else do we have? Let me see. Is that my little... He lost his little bow. Is that... I'm not sure if we're looking at... I can't even be sure sometimes with some of them when I'm a distance away, huh? I believe that is our... I believe that is our black, I believe, or is that, yes, that is our black boy lane right there that I was questioning. Um, that is our black male again, since he lost his little ribbon. I wanted to make sure I was pointing him out. And let's see, who do we have over there? Look up my baby, is that, is that blue, blue? That might be blue, blue, let me see. Oh no, that's purple, that's purple right there. Chewing on the rings, that is purple. Purple, what you doing, my girl? What you doing? She's actually, she's kind of falls in the middle as far as size. Um, she's not the biggest, but certainly not the smallest. Our smallest females, we actually have three um, that are, are the, on the smallest or the smaller side. That is actually light pink, which is right there sleeping. And then violet, which... 
was the one with the little puppy paw. She's also sleeping. And Orange, who's also sleeping. Everybody's snoozing on me right now. So I'll probably have to end up taking another video, guys. And I was worried about this by the time we get everything ready. And you get it all set up. And then, of course, they're playing. And by the time you go to video, this is what happens. They start dropping like flies on you. So it's hard to, you know, really time it correctly. Oh, but speaking of, here's somebody else we can introduce. This is our blue boy. I think I did introduce him earlier, but there he is again. That's our biggest, biggest one of the litter. He is a handsome man. He reminds us, he's the spitting image of his daddy when he was a puppy. Um, and, you know, it's obviously at any puppy from any, you know, all litters, get, you know, genes from mom and dad. And as far as personality, he reminds us so much of Baxter, but then has Millie's little you know silly carefree personality as well so it's just a really good mixture I find huh. and here we have there's our aqua girl again that's our aqua female I think I might have zoomed in I'm trying to they are so funny this is for those of you who are not familiar when i talk about potty training we begin potty training our litters usually some as early as three weeks but lately it's been more like three and a half not really by four weeks they're usually in their other pen it's when they transition from their whelp uh whelping whelping box or whelping pen into their first play pen um we that's when we first put them into that playpen we put their grass tray in there we spray a pheromone spray on there just in the beginning to help attract them to it and it never ceases to amaze me how many you know really start pie on that almost immediately and the ones that miss are really just missing right around it um and within a matter of days to maybe a week for most of our litters they're pretty much 100 percent on there and it's not something you should get when you leave because obviously you want them to potty outside in the grass and we will introduce them to grass after they have their first shots and have a little bit more immunity. Grass is always the last thing we introduce, but we will introduce them to grass their last couple weeks here. And we bell train and all those good things that really go a long way with um, helping them to potty train. Look at our red boy in there. That's red in there, huh? What you doing, buddy? It's so funny because, you know, the tunnel is one of the things that really, it's a really intimidating thing to a lot of puppies. And so, you know, you got to kind of let them figure out at their own pace. But we try to entice them here and there with maybe little treats at first. But it's always the cutest thing when it first rolls on them. And then before you know it, they all absolutely love playing in it. Huh. I'm trying to see. I wish we, I'm so sorry that we have some snoozers here. Let me get in there if I try to wake some of them up. Hmm. Let's see. Oh, there's our boy Jack again. There's our purple girl. They don't like those little things on their neck. Huh. We've already seen everyone playing, so I need to try to wake these up real quick. Let me see. Let's see if I can wake some babies up. Let's see if I can wake some babies up. Babies, can y'all say hi, huh? I wanted to introduce you to your mommies and daddies, huh? Say hi. That's our little orange girl. She's one of our tiny ones. She's not, you know, pink and violet or smaller, but she's also on the small side, huh? So can you say hi? Can you say hi? Up, up, up. This is why I typically try not to get in the pen because, of course, then they'll all come by my feet. And then I'm trying, it's hard to kind of video that way, but I wanted to at least... Make sure everyone got to see everybody. Hmm. Say hi. Can you say hi? No bite. 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 Good boy. That's a good boy. All right. Let's see who else we have over here to wake up. Oh, this is our little pink girl who I can tell is very sleepy, huh? huh. Say hi. Say I'm sleepy, Mama. I was sleeping. Say, am I missing something? Let me try to back up a little bit. We see you, Purple. Hi. Oh, Pinky. Hello, Pinky. Pinky. 
Oh, they're all piling up on me. So, let's see. Just so I can make sure I at least get everybody in here once. We have, there is our yellow girl. I think we got to see her a little bit earlier. And there's Violet on the bottom sleeping right there, too. Which I'll try to wake up for a second to see if we can kind of get them going a little bit, honey. Are you sleepy, baby? I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. I'm sorry, my girl. Huh. They're really, I, I tell you, doodles are so, to me, they, they really have a human characteristic. When they wake up, they look, you know, like they just woke up. Their hair is kind of messy and things like that. And it takes them a while just to kind of get moving. Um, just one of their funny, you know, meanerisms, I suppose. All right, guys. Well, since I can't get everybody else up and going, we at least got to introduce, I hope we got to at least see everybody uh, a little bit. And I guess we will catch them again when there are some of them are a little more active, huh? Um, and I'm, I'm not sure if we introduced, this is our tan boy, huh? Who I know is, I just woke up there, but that's our tan male in case we didn't introduce him. He's another one. Look, see the ears? Look at the ears. I mean, I, I, I just love it. And this one's a so, solid on this side and then has the red and white on that side, huh? Say yes, huh? Say we... See, our mommies and daddies are going to know who we are, huh? They're going to be able to identify us with no problem. Anyhow, um, I hope you enjoyed getting to see everyone. And I'll try to catch them again when they're, you know, some of them are a little more playful. But as you can see, this is how it kind of goes. You know, they, just like toddlers, they play and play. And then they start dropping like flies. But then you always have a few that remain playing like we have there. Um blue and our little girl purple here i'd say and you know it's funny just what you're seeing here these are also ones that are showing us leadership um independence definitely the more outgoing ones that would be purple blue red and black is normally in that mix i don't know is he in there right now i don't know if he is at the moment but typically he is one that's up um so, and it, it's funny how that really does translate into part of their personality. Let's see, was I right? I think I'm right, huh? Yes, yeah, see, see, let's see. See, our mommy knows. I know you guys. Yes, huh? That is indeed black. All right, guys. Well, I hope you enjoyed, and we'll chat soon. Thank you. Bye-bye.